All right, last one here. My sister's friend. Oh, boy. Hey, but, hi, Bill, you cunt. I'm an 18-year-old from England, and I need some advice. All right, you pasty, crooked teeth douche. Around two months ago, one of my sister's childhood friends came to visit her for a weekend. They've been friends since they were three, and she moved five hours away when she was 12, so they barely see each other anymore. They were planning to go out on Saturday with a group of friends, say, and I was planning on staying home alone. When my sister went to pick up a few of her friends to meet at our house, me and her friends flirted a bit, but nothing major. We exchanged Snapchats, etc. I love how that's flirting now. Long, t- long story short, my sister's friend pretended to be ill and came home early so we could hook up. Dude, you are fucking crushing it. Your sister's bringing them home to you. You don't even have to go out. Good for you. The only thing was my sister was genuinely ill and also came home early around 30 minutes after her friend and she caught us in bed together. Well, what the fuck is she doing walking into your bedroom? My sister got insanely angry and stormed out. Uh, You should have said, hey, don't hate the player. Hit the game. (laughs) And then just lit a cigarette. Oh, my God. I think this is fucking funny. This is fucking hilarious. Dude, do you realize how hard you're crushing it? You're fucking at home. You're not even trying to get laid. She just has her friends come over for the bullshit. Okay, ladies, you're ready to go out. And in that moment, whatever the fuck you did made one of them pretend to be sick and come back and hook up with you. Dude, you're a fucking hero. There's no reason to get, oh, I don't care how mad your sister gets. Just, I would just, just keep smiling and just be like, hey, I can't help it, man. The, la- I, you know, the ladies love me. Sweetheart, sweetheart, I wasn't trying to hook up. I was at home. I, I, I was innocent. I, I can't help it if women are attracted to me. I would just go totally fucking arrogant. And no matter she get, I would just keep laughing and I would never take it seriously. Uh, my sister has suffered with depression and anxiety. All right, forget what I just said. <laughs> I didn't see that part. My sister has suffered with depression. and I'm so excited for you that I, I didn't even read this next part. She suffered with depression and anxiety for years. So whenever something like this happens, my family almost always sides with her. Oh, that's easy. Then you just divide and conquer with your, with your dad. Just be like, Dad, I can't help it. I, I, I inherited your charisma. What do, what do you want from me? She, I, I, didn't, I didn't go out with... She came home to me. It, fe, it fell right in my lap. What was I supposed to do? Dad, what was I supposed to do? You know, and he'll... I don't know. There's no fucking way I get mad at my kid. In the morning... I mean, he's mad because you're making her upset. But he's not mad at what you did. I'm guaranteed. Your dad's telling his friends at work. This fucking... This son of a bitch didn't have to leave the fucking house. They're coming, they're coming to him. Uh, in the morning, she threatened to never talk to me again for what I did. But I said something along the, so- the lines of, I feel a connection with her. <laughs> or some bullshit like that to calm my sister down. The thing was, I didn't. But her friend did. Oh, no. We started dating. And after around two weeks, I, re- I realized that I fucking hated this girl. She is generally stupid as shit. Yeah, dude, this is all good. This is all good stuff because you're learning lessons, which you're supposed to in life, especially at 18, okay? This whole thing started with a lie, okay? And that you did to protect your sister's feelings. So you just got to come clean. You got to dump the dummy and just tell her, like, listen, I love you so much that I actually started dating somebody that is fucking stupid, all right? I'm sorry, you have... And then she'll get mad that you'll be like, he's calling her friend stupid. Are you saying my friends are stupid? No, I'm saying that friend that is a friend of you is stupid. The other ones seem really smart and, you know, tell all of them I wouldn't mind if they fake six and came home and hooked up with me. <laughs> all right. I realized that I fucking hated this girl. She's generally stupid as shit. My original plan was to pretend I was into her for a few months. And then when I go to university, um, uh, in a few months, I'd break up with her because of the long distance. Dude, don't do that because you might break her heart. All right? But that's some dumb shit you do when you're 18. 
Uh, that way, I'd save my relationship with my sister and and mother and get rid of this stupid bitch. Hey, 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 hey. Don't talk about women. You don't need to talk about them like that, okay? Feel lucky that, you, you know, you got a better brain than she did. Yeah, don't don't play with people's feelings like that, all right? Because I'm telling you right now that, you, that if you're any sort of an actual human being, uh, breaking somebody's heart, the guilt of that never fucking goes away. Um, however, I recently received news that my first choice university turned me down and my second choice was the only one that accepted me. The problem is she lives 15 minutes away from my second choice university and now I don't know what to do. You got to come clean. I can't go through university hitched to a girl I fucking hate, but I can't afford to risk my relationship with my family for obvious reasons. Also, another girl who I think I generally may have a connection with recently broke up with her boyfriend in two years, and I'm pretty sure that if I could, if I could, we would be dating right now. Uh, it also doesn't help that this girl is a nine out of ten looking model, and I'm probably a six and a half out of ten at best. Thanks for your help, you freckled twat. All right, dude, this is what you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn uh, honesty here. All right. Um. Fucking break up with that woman today. All right? And you have to come clean with everybody in your house. And you have to say, you know, you have to put your foot down that your parents cannot be choosing. Maybe I would have this conversation with your parents. They can't be choosing your sister over you straight across the board because of your sister's depression and anxiety issues. Okay? I don't know how severe they are. All right. If they're chemical, then, yeah, that's a major problem. But, you know, if she just needs to fucking, you know, get out of a funk, then I don't know. I don't know where she is on the whole depression spectrum, if that's the proper thing. But, like, you shouldn't have to be suffering like this. Dude, you got to live your own fucking life. All right. Just live your life. Live your life. When you live your life, sometimes people are going to get hurt. All right. Fuck that. Break up with this woman and go ask the other woman out. That's it. That's what the fuck you do. And if anybody in your family has a problem with it, let them vent to you and all that stuff and just say, I'm sorry that I am doing what my heart is telling me to do. All right? I am not trying to hurt anybody in this family. Had I known that hooking up with that girl was going to uh, cause this level of, of drama. I wouldn't have done it. I regret that I did it. I actually felt so bad that I actually fucking dated her for two weeks the whole time, and it was like talking to a fucking chair. Say all this stuff nicely. All right? There's a woman that I like that I want to pursue, and I'm going to do that. And if that's wrong, then God damn it, I don't want to be right. And walk out. Okay, and don't let them hold your sister's fucking problems over your goddamn head because that's good. Look look, look what it's already doing. It's causing you to fucking date people you don't want to date. So then she's going to be depressed and you're going to be living this life of fucking misery because you didn't do what you wanted. Okay, now, having said that, don't call women bitches. All right, don't do that. I'm not saying don't call them out on their shit and stand your ground, but don't don't ever do the name calling thing. All right, because it's it doesn't uh, it gets you it. Not only does it, it makes the other person not hear what your point is, then they can bring that up for the rest of your fucking relationship, and God knows they're going to do it. All right? That's the fucking podcast. Oh, fuck yourselves. I'll check in on you on Thursday. Bye-bye.